Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. This is a nice laptop. It's an Acer Nitro 5. We have Ryzen uh, CPU and I'm not sure about the GPU. It's a gaming one, 144 Hz display. It's a nice one. So what the customer is saying with this laptop Acer Nitro 5 laptop won't power on after a Windows update. Yeah, sounds familiar. <laughs> I took it to a repair shop and they said aren't uh, weren't sure, but it probably need a new motherboard. I've watched your videos and uh, I think you are my only hope getting this machine repaired. So I'm curious. I mean, we had before laptop uh, dead after a windows update so this is another one uh, from what i can see has no screw i haven't opened the laptop so i don't know what is inside but are no screws so let's open and check so if the laptop died by a windows update what we are dealing with like bios like uh, ec depends what uh, was updated on that point but why the people from the repair shop are saying you need a new motherboard? I mean, I'm pretty sure like any repair shop, they will do BIOS, at least BIOS. Probably they will not do EC chip, but BIOS, uh, probably they will do. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do BIOS before uh, getting on my, uh, on my own thing. This is a nice gaming laptop. I can see marks on the BIOS chips. So most likely someone uh, tried to do BIOS on this one. Let's have a look under the microscope because I can see some marks, like some deep marks on the BIOS chip. Uh, so looks like, I don't know, it's flux or... Uh, you can't see on the screen. But I can see clearly here was no clamps on the on the on the bio ship. Uh, so the solder is like shiny. I can't see any sign of clamps on the bio ship. I can see here some marks. I don't know what it is, if it's flux or whatever. I can see some, uh, you know, that uh, thermal pads. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Strange, very strange. But yeah, yeah, it should be fine. I mean, no one done the BIOS. Okay, well, let's check. Let's unplug the battery. Let's check the main, uh, the main power rail if it's shorted or not. We have here. I can see a power supply, and we have no short. Let's plug the charger. We have the charger here. Uh, you know what? I will not use this uh, this charger. I will use my one because the people said, you know, sorry. Why you are not using, not using like a universal uh, charger? I do use, but I always forget. Like I bought that one from eBay, yeah. And uh, I can use, yeah. Let's take a Acer, uh, Acer uh, yeah, that's the one, that's the one, you see? And now on the power supply, we can see, we can follow what's going on on the motherboard. Yeah, 19. Let's plug the charger. Ta-da! So we have, we can, we can see the current. So I see like 10 milliamps, but it's zero. Zero is bad. I mean, you should, you should have at least 10 milliamps, which means the 3.3 volts power supply is up and running. Yeah. Let's try and press the power button. Maybe, who knows, maybe we are wrong. Power button and nothing happened. You can see on the current, you can't see. I'm, I'm watching on the current. Look, was like 10 milliamps earlier, but nothing now. So uh, it's kind of dead. Let's check the main power rail to see if we have any voltage. Main power rail. We do have 19.2, you can see on the screen. 
we do have voltage. Okay, 3.3. .3. The power button is on the keyboard, but this cable is not plugged in. Look at this cable. This is not plugged in. So this is the keyboard. One second, let's plug the keyboard. Yeah, the keyboard is plugged. Let's press the power button one more time. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. Okay. So it's kind of pointless. Good. The 3.3, .3, where we can check the 3.3? We learned before, we can go on the power supply, but easy way is to check around the IO chip. You have a bunch of capacitors. Like here is nothing. Well, I can't see any capacitor. Let me let me let me get the the microscope. Now let's check together. Yes, yeah, so that's the IO chip. We can get rid of the reflections. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Good. Now let's get the multimeter and let's try to find a 3.3. .3. You can see any cap here around here? Yeah, we can see here one. And check on the screen, check on the screen. 3.3, .3, you can see. So we do have 3.3 .3 on the on the on the EC chip or super IO chip. But nothing here. Three volts here. I'm just checking randomly, but we have three point three on one pin. Here is three point three again. Yeah, on this pin. So the IO chip has power. The problem is why it's not reacting at the power button. Hmm. And that's a very good question. So let's go to the keyboard connector here. And let's see if we have 3.3. .3. We do have. Now what we have to see is, is if is the 3.3 .3 is changing when we are pressing the power button. How can I do it? Good. Let me stick the ground here. The power button is here. Let's see. 3.2, pressing the power button, nothing happened. And the laptop just start. Wait, I think I short some pins on the keyboard connector. I think I short some pins on the keyboard connector. Probably I short the, the, power, the power button. Because I can see the laptop on. Strange, there's no picture on the screen. And the laptop went off. Okay, one more time. Let's, replic let's, uh, let's replicate the fail, yeah? <laughs> you know, you show something. Oh, it's working. Let's do it. So I checked the pin number one. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Good. P number two is zero. P number three is 3.1. 3.1. Now let's show the P number three with P number two. And nothing happened. Okay, P number four, 3.1. Five, 3.1. All are 3.1. Okay, that's crazy. Oh, P number one, pressing the power button. Yeah, that's the power button. Here, pressing the power button, nothing happened. Again, the laptop start. You can see the fans are spinning. And yeah, the laptop is shutting down because the power supply cannot supply enough power. So clearly the power button is not working. So I believe I short. One second, P number two. Yeah, P number two. I show the pin number two and the laptop is on. I can see the fans. 
I can see the backlight of the keyboard on the back. And it's shutting down. <sighs> okay, so first the keyboard is dead, right? Let's unplug the yeah, let's reset the BIOS. We reset the BIOS. Now let's show it one more time. Yeah, so the keyboard is gone, yeah? Right? The laptop is charging. I'm just curious if it's charging. One second. The laptop is not, it is charging. 250 milliamps. 250 milliamps. Why only 250? Let's check the voltage on the battery. And we have 16.7. AA is taking 1.3. Yeah. So it's fine. The battery is okay. The EC chip is dealing with, uh, with the data from the battery. So that's fine. Yeah, let's unplug the charger. 16.3. Yeah, it should be fine, yeah? So the laptop should start on the battery. So one more time, P number one. That's fine, P number two, yeah? We have to show the P number two, yeah. And the laptop start, you can see the backlight, the red light. I'm just curious what will happen. It will shut down again. It's still on. It's still on. The laptop is still on. And nothing happens. So we have no picture, but basically the laptop is staying on. No picture, no bag light. So I still don't understand because here are two faults, you know, and it's not making sense. I mean, okay, you've done a BIOS update. And the laptop is not working, but why the power button is not working? That's a good question. So the laptop is, the board is on and it's working. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, uh, that sucks. You know, okay, I got it. So actually the problem, the, pro, the, the, the customer issue with this laptop is the power button. But how he made the link, okay, after a BIOS update, it stopped working. Yeah, the laptop is working great. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, let's see the keyboard. Let's see the other keys from the keyboard, yeah? Yeah. The mouse pad is not working. Let's press it from the keyboard, which is the mouse pad. Uh, this one, F2. F2, no. Fn F2. Yeah, and the mouse pad is working. And the keyboard is working, I swear. Look, so check here. It's a pin there. The keyboard is working. That's sick. So what is going on the on the keyboard is actually the power button. Let me put a Wi-Fi password. Yeah. So I can I could type a complex password and input the password for the Wi-Fi. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. I mean, the laptop is it's still on. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, the power button is dead. So 
So what we can do in this case, Buying another keyboard, buying another keyboard, Are you crazy? You know how much is this keyboard? You know how much I pay for my keyboard? So I bought a second hand for my, you remember the Asus, the, the gaming laptop? I pay a hundred pounds second hand. <laughs> it's sick. For a power button? You can't be serious, right? You can't be serious. No, 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 no. No, I don't think you are serious if you told me to buy a keyboard for a power button. No, no, no. Do we have any Wi-Fi button or something which we can modify? No. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking also for a modification, but on the past, you remember on the past on the old laptops it was so easy. You have a Wi-Fi switch. You know, you know how easy it is to modify to you just use a wire from the from the power button to the Wi-Fi switch. But not on those days. So how we can do it? You have any idea how you will do it? I know don't tell me you'll order the keyboard. No, no. I don't believe that. So somehow Wait, no, we can't use that here. Yeah? One second. Touchpad on off. No, we can't use that. No, because the laptop has to be on. I can take the signal, yeah, but no. Okay, not that one. Fix the keyboard. No, no way we can fix this keyboard. No. But what happened? What happened? I have no idea because it doesn't look like it's water damage. I mean, I can clearly see the button is fine. But why the computer shop said the customer need a motherboard when actually he need a keyboard? That's strange. Yeah. And why the keyboard connector was unplugged? That's another strange thing here. Yeah? Let's unplug the battery and let's take out the battery to see the keyboard cable. You think the cable can be damaged? So this is the keyboard cable. It looks fine to me. No, it's 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 you see the, the so under the under the the motherboard. I don't know if you can see here. You have like a metal uh, metal plate with with tips like plastic, like you know what I mean. It's kind of. Just to open to check and break the whole uh, pins. We need an idea. Yeah, we need an idea. Idea how we can simulate the power button. That's what we need. What is this? <laughs> the lead sensor. That's beautiful. It is. When the customer opened the laptop, the laptop is coming on automatically. Yeah, but the signal is not on off. The signal is either on or off. Hmm. 
But that's beautiful. I mean, we, we use no switch. We use nothing. Just, you know, when the customer opens the laptop. So what do we need? We, we have a signal, which is changing it from 1 to 0. And we need to make it like a pulse. Like a, you know what I mean? A quick one. A quick zero actually we need a quick zero how we can do that actually we can yeah we can we can <laughs> uh, this is another video let's modify a laptop right Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we have, um, yeah, this is a Hull sensor. You know Hull sensor? Hull sensor is a magnetic sensor. So what is supposed to happen? It's supposed to happen, like, let me plug the charger. Where is my charger? What is supposed to happen? Uh, it's supposed to change the state from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1. When you come with a magnet close, or we can. Uh, so what do we have? 3.3 .3 and getting closer here, zero. You can see? So we have zero, zero volts. You can see? Here we have 3.2 and it's going to zero. So you can see the lead sensor is working. You can see? So the lead sensor is fine. Yeah, it's going to zero. You see when I am, when I bring the magnet there, or when I put it back, right? Yeah, when I put the sensor back. Okay, so basically, you, when you open the laptop, is zero, right? So let's say now the laptop it's open. The lid is open. We don't, we have, no, we have 3.3. .3. So when it's close, it's zero. So when you open the laptop, it's one. Actually, it's more simple than I thought, yeah? So all we have to do is to use one wire, yeah? So pay attention here. And the charger is unplugged. We need to use one wire. Yeah, let me desolder this wire because I uh, I tested. Let's use a longer wire. Give me one second. Yeah, done it. So we need one wire from here. From exactly this signal. Perfect. Perfect. And this wire has to go to the pin number one. Actually, the power uh, the power is the, on the pin number one. Keep in mind if you have this uh, this laptop. Here. Perfect. Okay. Now it's time for testing. Now it's time for testing. Yeah. Let me put the sensor back here. Good. Now let's plug the charger. So the charger is plugged. 
Nothing happened. Yeah, let's open the laptop. And the laptop is coming on. <laughs> what did I told you? <clears throat> Maybe not. We can close it and open and now it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the catch. That's the catch with this laptop. It's just one second. Oh, I unplugged the RAM memory. Probably that's why it's not working. Still has one. Hmm? Let me plug back the, 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 the RAM memory. Okay, so the laptop is on and it's coming on perfectly fine. Uh, I have no, I don't have enough power on my power supply. Let me grab the original charger. Let me grab the original charger. Okay, so we plug the charger and the laptop is off. Yeah, closing the lid. Nothing happened. Opening the lid and the laptop is coming on. You can see. <laughs> now, indeed, there will be some problem with the sleep. But if the customer does activate the sleep from the, from the menu, then she'll be fine. Yeah, let me shut down the let me shut it down. Yeah, shut down. Okay, so we shut down the laptop. So, what the customer has to do, the customer has to close the lid. Yeah, if it's closing the lid, nothing will happen. And when it's opening the lid, the laptop it will start. You can see the fans are spinning and the laptop is working fine. <laughs> I mean, it took me a while to understand because I was thinking, okay, if it's zero when it's close, that means it's, it's, it mean, uh, you keep the press the power button and it will, uh, it will shut down. But we are speaking here about starting, not about shutting down. Yeah, if I close the lid, which can be translated, I don't know what it's doing because probably now the computer is confused it's receiving the sleep signal i mean the lead the, the lead signal and also is receiving the the power button pressed yeah the laptop is off let's power on so opening the lid and nothing happened okay closing the lid then opening the lid and the laptop is coming on yeah but it's automatically you know it's AI, right? This is the future. <laughs> so actually, you don't need uh, any more uh, power button. So let, let me get this straight. So if we are closing the lid, it's like keeping press the the power button, right? No, because this is not on Windows. Hmm. Okay, this is on the recovery. Okay, let's turn off. If the customer is shutting down the laptop, it's fine. Yeah? So he shut down the laptop, he can leave it open or he can close it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, nothing will happen. But when it's open, when he opened the lid, the laptop is coming on. Which it should happen. I mean, this, this is a future. This, this, this is like an upgrade. <laughs> we, should, we should charge him extra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the wait. You can set up on Windows. 
Yeah, that's better. I swear this is better. So you can set up on Windows what the power button is doing. So you can set up the power button to do nothing or to send the computer to sleep or to do nothing. And I, I think that's the, the right settings. To set the power button to do nothing. Yeah. And on that case, when you close the lid, the computer, it will go to sleep, right? You open the lid, the computer, it will come, uh, it will come to life. Yeah, that's the way to go. So right now the Windows is working. If I close the lid, it's like pressing the power button, keeping press the power button. And it will shut down. Yeah, it will shut down, definitely. And if we are opening the lid, and the laptop is coming on, which it's... Wait, it was on sleep. It was on sleep. That's crazy, it's working. Closing the lid. The laptop goes off, yeah? The laptop is off right now. It's off. Opening the lid, and it's coming on. So actually, so check here, actually, look, look, look what happened. Look what, ha and this is smart. So the EC chip, the, the software is built on a way if you close the lid, it will ignore the power the power button signal. So the customer has to do nothing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Because the EC chip is seeing the lid is closed. It will ignore the power button. It will ignore it. Okay, the laptop is off. Clearly the laptop is off. I mean, we can check. We can check like... To check what? Uh, like the RAM voltage. RAM voltage. It's not present. It's zero volts, yeah? Now we are opening the laptop. And the laptop is not coming on. But if I close it and I open, it is coming on. Ha! Uh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Let's see if the battery is doing exactly the same. Yeah. Let me isolate that wire quickly. Perfect. Now let's put the battery. You know what? You know what? I I I am I'm, I'm expecting like honest comments. I mean what you will do. And don't tell me you'll buy a keyboard. No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me instead of a wire you'll buy a, you pay a hundred pounds for a keyboard. Then you'll spend hours, at least one hour, just to replace the keyboard. I mean I don't know. This is not like a top of the range to worth this kind of, uh, you know, like a keyboard replacement. Okay, so the battery is plugged in. Plug in the charger. Let's open the laptop. And the laptop is coming on like normal. Which is great. Yeah, let's press restart my PC. If, if the customer is desactivating the power button, what the power button it will do. And when you desactivate on Windows, what the power button it will do. The power button it will do nothing. But if you shut down the laptop, the power button it will work. Yeah, It will not work when it's on Windows like this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the laptop is on. Closing the lid. And the laptop goes to sleep because the EC chip it will ignore the power button. And opening the lid. No, it's shutting down. Okay. 
yeah, it's shutting down. So uh, the customer has to dis disactivate the power button. If he, he, if he will disactivate the power button, everything is perfect. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? I don't have the Windows password to disactivate the button myself. But clearly, this is a this is a win-win case. Yeah, now he didn't shut down. He goes to sleep. Yeah. It will shut down. It will shut down. Probably because the signal is the same. So the, the, the lead sensor signal and the power button signal arrive on the same time. Yeah? Because obviously I'm using the lead signal. So it's like I'm closing the lead exactly on that uh, microsecond when actually I'm pressing the power button. Yeah, it's probably once it's going to sleep, once it's uh, shutting down. That's not a problem because you can disactivate the power button from the windows. Very simple. You will choose another. You will choose to fix this world on another on another way. Hmm? I'm curious to see what idea do you have. I'm curious. I'm curious to to hear if you have a different idea compared with mine. Well, let me know in the comments. If you will do it on a different way, I'm curious what what are the other people uh, they have like I you know how you will deal with a with a with a case like this. And let's say replacing the keyboard is not an option. Hmm? How you will do it? Okay, so I'll stop here. Of course, I'll speak with the customer. If the customer is choosing to replace the keyboard, that's fine to me. It's not a problem, but it's. You know, it's an extra cost. Um, yeah, yeah. But probably he will not choose that. I mean, you will choose to replace the keyboard. I can open the lid and the laptop is coming on. Perfect. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Don't tell me it's dodgy. Yeah, don't, don't say that. <laughs>